everyone, welcome back to Glitterati Gaming. It's Steph, aka Life is Lovely. And today we are back with another tutorial. Woohoo! Today we are going to be covering the Apotheosis Spawner Mod. It's not really super complicated, but I feel like it's complicated enough in how to upgrade the spawners. These are all the items that you can add to your spawner. So you'll need just a regular spawner, which you can find in like the dungeons, you can find them in mine shafts, pretty much normally where you find a spawner, that's where you'll find them. And you will need silk touch on a pickaxe to pick them up. We're going to put the spawner down. So I'm going to walk you through how to upgrade them and explain what each upgrade does for the spawner because personal experience, there are some things that you don't want to put in the spawner because it will crash your game like immediately and you're going to have thousands of things spawning and you don't want that. First things first, we are going to put a redstone comparator in. So what that is, is just what it sounds like. It's so that your spawner can be controlled with redstone. So you can attach it to a lever. This is, you are really going to want this if you are going to change the spawn cap which means you can spawn a load all at once um, and especially if you're going to lessen the tick time between spawns so if you're going to have them spawning real quick you need this because otherwise they're just going to keep spawning 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 and you're going to get lag so the first thing i would add is the redstone comparator and so you just look at the spawner, make sure it's kind of like highlighted on your screen and you're just going to right click and you're going to see it stop. So it's going to stop because now it's not going to spawn anything until you have that lever hooked up. So we're just going to put the lever over here and there's really no rhyme or reason. Like you can put the lever literally one away and it'll turn on. So it's kind of just like whatever type of spawner you're building. You just build the redstone to it oh also if you have the um just enough items like the inventory thing i love having this because if you click on the spawner in here it tells you all the different modifications you can do and it explains them so first we're going to do the clock so that decreases the maximum spawn delay so what that means is it's going to bring that top number down so you want to increase the minimum spawn delay, which we're gonna do with sugar after the clocks and the maximum so that they just start spawning one right after another. So you don't have to wait a long period of time. I mean, really, these are just used for mob farms. So if you're wanting to get levels quickly, you don't wanna be sitting around waiting and waiting and waiting. I kinda wanna, I'm gonna come out of creative for this one so that we can see how many of these it takes. So, and you can just hold down the right button and it'll stop once it has like the max amount. So 80, it takes 80 clocks. And it also depends too on what your spawner already has in terms of the setting. We'll be able to see now that like it says minimum delay 200, max delay zero. Spawn count, it's going to show you all of the upgrades that you have. Now we're going to add the sugar. So this is so that the minimum delay gets bumped up. So we're gonna keep adding this. I believe it should probably take the same amount. So it should be probably about 80. Oh, just kidding. Prove me wrong immediately. Thank you, Minecraft. Really appreciate that. So that one actually only took 40. Okay, so for the spawn count, you wanna increase that. You need fermented spider eye. So let's see how many this will take. Okay, so I think it's actually just gonna like keep taking them until we, uh, until we stop. So now, okay. So spawn count 173. So we are not gonna use this one as an example just because like 173 that's that's a lot of stuff spawning all at once and uh my computer is gonna be like what the heck are you doing stop don't do that please um so yeah 
we are not gonna do that. There's also like cool achievements that you get when you up upgrade a spawner so like what I did on the server is I upgraded one fully and I just never used it partly because like I did turn it on and spawned like thousands of them now we're gonna increase the nearby entities which I believe is the gas tiers usually each chunk I believe has like an entity cut off of how many things can spawn in that chunk so this is going to make it so that that doesn't matter and it'll still spawn even if you have, you know, like a dungeon under you with the spawner that's spawning stuff. This is going to be so that you can still have your spawner nearby and it, those entities that are spawning aren't going to impact yours at all. Pop a few of those in and that's going to be plenty. Basically like when you get the achievements, the player range is what we'll work on next. So that's like how close the player has to be to the spawner for it to begin working. So you can add prismarine crystals, which will increase how far away you can be from the spawner for it to still be actively spawning. Again though, if you have the redstone compared in there, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to work unless you're there, you flip a switch. So you can do this two ways. You can either do it with the prismarine crystals so that you can increase the range. Or if you do the nether star, that is so that it doesn't matter how far away you are. Like you can be off in a whole different world or dimension and it's still going to be spawning i would be very careful with the nether star because again if you have a high spawn cap and you have a very low minimum and maximum spawn delay and you don't have this hooked up to a redstone comparator it's just going to continuously keep spawning so when you come back you might lag out and then you're going to have a problem i would really only do that just for the achievement so we'll put in some of the crystals we'll add the nether star and again that's literally just so you can be anywhere and it doesn't matter where you are it'll just keep spawning blaze rods are so that it increases the spawn radius so instead of them spawning kind of like within an eight block radius they can spawn up to a 50 block radius i wouldn't recommend doing that because again if you have your spawn cap up and your max and minimum ticks down for the delays you're gonna have a mess if you have 50 blocks wide worth of things spawning so again wouldn't recommend that but basically like just make one crazy op spawner just to get the achievements and then make one yeah mobs for miles and then literally just make one that like you can actually use so the last two items that we're going to be adding is a chorus fruit and a dragon's egg so the chorus fruit actually will make it so that um it ignores any spawn cap so it'll just like keep spawning 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 um like as many as possible so the last thing we're going to add is the dragon's egg and this one's actually pretty cool because it ignores all the spawn conditions for the spawner so i used this one with a drowned spawner completely on accident I was trying to build one and I was like, I'm just going to add this. And it was actually pretty awesome because it just started spawning drowned without any water or anything. And I got a trident within seconds. So if you're trying to do something like that, this would be perfect for this. That like you don't have to have those special conditions to be spawning things. So once you add that, you also get an achievement. Yeah. So it's a really... This one I think is like super OP. This is the spawner's generic settings when you get one. Ours that we max updated is minimum and maximum delay are both zero. You can spawn up to 173 at once. Max nearby entities is 56. You have to be within 206 blocks. It can spawn within 53 blocks and it ignores players, spawn conditions, spawn cap, and we did it so it has to use redstone i would say unless you have like a super beefed up computer um don't use that so now we're gonna build kind of just like a normal spawner that you could use and i want to show you what i mean about the drowned one so we're gonna put the spawner there so right now it's a pig so we're first gonna hook it up to the redstone put that in there 
we are going to put in the dragon's egg so that's going to make it so it ignores spawn conditions and then once we hit this yep it should spawn okay so it's spawning two. Oh, there's three. Oh, i think one of them got spawned in there obviously this is not how you build a spawner if you guys want a how to build a spawner tutorial let me know and i'll do one we're gonna add as many clocks as we can and as much sugar as we can we're gonna add fermented spider eyes remember those are going to increase the number of entities that spawn so now we're gonna increase the number of nearby entities and now yeah see whoa i can't tell if it's on or off oh boy as you can see this is why you need to be careful with it because there's a lot of piggies up here holy crap okay we need a sword and i'm sorry but goodbye to all of you oh oh my lord so now we're gonna put the drowned egg in there because it and I'm literally, yeah, holy crap. I guess moral of the story is don't update the spawn count. And if you do, do it to just a very manageable amount because yeah, apparently 27 is ridiculous. Be aware of what you're putting in. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was clear for you. If not, leave comments and I'm more than happy to like clear up any questions you might have. You can use this with any spawn egg too. Like anything that you can spawn, you put it in there. Only thing you need to be careful with in these spawners is for some reason, the mod pack that we have with the Better Animals Plus, it like people are crashing the second they put the spawn egg in. So I would suggest for those, you just do it the old fashioned way and breed them. If you have anything that you would like to see us do in any of the mods that we've shown on the channel, or just mods maybe that you're messing around with, uh, drop them down below so we can check them out and kind of learn about them. We like to do a lot of research to find out about the mods and we can make tutorials on anything that you might need help with. Make sure you give this video a like comment subscribe if you're new to the channel make sure you go join our discord we will have the link below we have a great community over there also make sure you follow us on facebook and twitter facebook we are live streaming on as well as twitch which we will also link below so make sure you're following us on all of those platforms so you always get notified when we post a new video or when we're live and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.